Hey, my puppies! This is Melody Fletcher with Deliberate Receiving, where the Law of Attraction finally makes some freaking sense. Today's burning question comes from Awesome Dude, who wants to know, what's your view on psychedelics? Well, Awesome Dude, I've been pretty open about the fact that I am a big fan of something called ayahuasca which is a jungle brew um, and you can find in fact my video interview with my shaman from Peru uh, that I posted on YouTube and on my blog. Um, I'll put the link in the description so you can find that easily. Um, and ayahuasca is has a psychedelic aspect to it. It isn't the same as LSD. It isn't, it has the compound DMT in it, but it isn't like taking DMT. Um, it is, to me, a sacred plant teacher. There's a lot of wisdom there, and there's a lot of guidance, and you're working with some really powerful energy teachers there. Um, so it isn't the same as having a psychedelic experience. My view on psychedelics is, personally, I don't take anything that's artificial, that's man-made. I prefer to deal with plants. Uh, and so I am not a user of LSD or anything like that. Um, but it is my understanding, because I've done a fair amount of research on this, it's my understanding that you can have a very beneficial um, experience on something like LSD or MDMA. I have done an MDMA ceremony. It was in a ceremonial setting and I got great benefit from it. But it was nothing like what you might experience going to a club and doing ecstasy. And this gets me to my point. I am in favor of psychedelics. I think that they are mind expanding. I think that you can get great benefit from them. But I think it really, really, really comes down to the setting how you're doing them, what you're doing them for, where you're doing them, who's around. For example, I only do things like this in a ceremonial setting where a shaman is holding the energy for me so that I don't have to try to do that myself. I would never, ever, ever go to a party and do something like this or go to a club or do something like this or do it recreationally. I'm certainly not doing these things recreationally. Um, and, and so for me, they've brought me great benefit in my life, um, but they could also uh, cause you, you know, people have given lots and lots of stories about negative experiences where they had bad trips, where they had uh, um, things happening to them that were terrifying. Well, I got to tell you, I've had some ceremonies that were absolutely terrifying as well, but because of the setting that I was in, because of the intention I set, because of my understanding of what was happening, I actually was able to get great benefit from that, from all that fear coming up and purging out of my body. Um, if you are doing it in a recreational setting and you have a bad time, maybe it opens you up, maybe, you know, I, I can't imagine being in a club and not having a horrific experience if you're on one of these drugs. Um, there were a lot of uh, studies done and you can find documentaries about this. Uh, the name doesn't come to mind right now, but when LSD was first uh, discovered, um, they actually started testing it for psychological purposes. And these, you know, they were giving people LSD in a very um, specific setting where they would have them, um, they would put on a blindfold or they would lie down, close their eyes. It was very calming. There was a therapist there to help them through it. So there was a guide there to help them and to explain to them what was going on. They knew what was going to happen. They were working on things and they actually had massive, massive, massive breakthroughs, uh, particularly in the field of schizophrenia uh, with LSD before it then became a street drug and was shut down. Um, MDMA is the same. When MDMA first got developed, it was actually used heavily by psychologists, psychiatrists with great, great effect, uh, where they were able to work uh, particularly in the field of uh, sexual trauma. So women who had gone through sexual trauma or a rape were able to work through those emotions and that trauma much, 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 much faster often in just one session with MDMA, uh, which is the main proponent of ecstasy, and they're not the same. Um, so uh, um, it really comes down to how you use it and what context you use it, what the setting is in, what your intention is in, if you're willing to do some work or if you're trying to just use it to escape. Any drug that you use can, you know, even alcohol can be used in a positive way, can be used in a negative way. If you have a couple glasses of wine because you're celebrating and you're happy and you feel great while you're doing it and you don't overdo it because you have some desperation going on, then um, you can have a great time in alcohol and pay no price. And I do that once or twice a year. I 
very, very rarely drink, but once or twice a year, I have some champagne, and I have I pay no price from it, and my body feels great the entire time that I'm doing it. Um, but if I was to drink, if I'm not feeling good, and I wasn't really feeling like drinking, but I was just trying to do it to escape, then it become kind of it would become kind of a negative experience. So I hope I've answered your question. It is all for me about setting an intention and what it is you know that you're trying to do with whatever substance you're taking. And to me, that's true no matter if you're talking about something like LSD or ayahuasca or San Pedro or peyote or chocolate cake. It's all the same. You know, it all comes down to how you're using it, why you're using it, and it all comes down in the end to awareness. Well, I hope that I've answered your question, and if you found this content uh, helpful, then please consider sharing it with somebody who will also find it beneficial. And if you'd like to join this discussion, this is a subject that I care a lot about, that I um, love to read comments about, so please leave me a comment down below, or come and join the community at DeliberateReceiving.com. It's super fun over there, and you can come and join the Happy Shiny Puppy Army. Until next time, I am sending you all smooshy Happy Shiny Puppy hugs and I will see you later. Bye.